you call me or we have to be in conversation. And she said she was working on some carving. And with the Heart of the City Festival, I'd like to get involved. And we jumped at the opportunity. We had worked with Christine in, in the previous couple of years before that on the carving of the, uh, the canoe, or the one canoe which was launched at Crab Park. And it was such a great experience. And one of the things that we talked about at the beginning was that one of the poles would come into the community. And at that point, I had no idea where the community, where the pole was going to go. And I jumped into the river on faith that this project would happen. And I'm so glad that we're here because that faith has been reinforced and it's been reinforced because of everyone here in this community. It's been built around partnerships. It's been built around collaborations between so many people, between so many organizations. Starting right with Christine and, and these wonderful carvers who have been down here making these two poles, these two house posts, these two totems, these two carvings. I've been told they're, I've been given many names for them. The imagery of the mother, cub, and the bear has really powerfully spoken to this community because this is a community that cares for each other and we look out for each other. And these poles reflect that exactly. So I wanted to thank Henry for coming down here with this idea of having the mother bear and her cubs because it really speaks powerfully to this community, the caring community that looks out for each other. Thank you, Henry, and thank you, Wes. And Henry Jr. And uh, Christine Germano, it's been wild ride. <laughs> Christine didn't talk about the fact that uh, we were able to use technology and we were having meetings from Green. She was in Greenland. We were Skyping each other, <laughs> having meetings over Skype, planning food menus, planning <laughs> permit meetings, all the kinds of stuff. She was in Fiji. We were Skyping each other from Fiji. It was quite wild. And uh, so it's been great to work with Christine, and I hope we get a chance to work on another project together, Christine. Um, I'd also particularly like to thank the Vancouver Board of Parks and Recreation, and in particular, Jill Weaving. And, and we uh, have the, the pleasure to have Commissioner Sarah Blight here today. And she's going to come up and say a few words in a minute. The Parks Board has been so incredibly supportive of this project, I cannot tell you. Um, right from the get-go when we came to Oppenheimer and Fanny McKeegan, she was the real interest behind getting this pole here in this park, getting the carving happening in the park because she saw the value and the importance of these poles and what they meant in the park. So Fanny, thank you very much because without you saying, I want those poles in this park, it wouldn't have happened. Thank you, Fanny. And thank you, Jill. Jill is really instrumental. Um, both in the role that she played within the Open Member Park Commemoration Committee um, and the support that she's shown for this project right from the very beginning. And very crucially, Jill went to the city and got funding from the city, from the City of Vancouver um, Great Beginnings Program, which enabled us to put these foundations in to the ground. So the Parks Board has been a foundation builder here and it's because of Jill and the Great Beginnings Program. So please join me in giving a great round of applause.